Now this, this is how you make a real pineapple. So, I'm going to teach you how to prepare a proper pineapple for a lady, thanks to Leuna. When I get back, we'll have everything set up. Greetings, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Batman, the pineapple. The proper way to make a pineapple, if you know what I mean. I'll show you, just in case you don't. Know. Oh, first thing we're going to do, take off our gloves, band braces, roll up your sleeves, and get those hands washed. Here's some soap. Don't forget to get in between your fingers. One hand washes the other. Yeah, get proper rinsing. You don't want to leave any soap residue taste. It'll ruin everything. Now that's done. To explain things, this is a very, very simple recipe, but a very important one that every man should know. Grab a pineapple. The bigger the better. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now that with the drink that we're going to be making, there is going to be a little bit of pineapple on the side, but you know what? It's to mask the flavor. You can take a spoon, you can scrape that in, you can make your cup bigger, whatever have you. Maybe on the second drink. The second drink's a little bigger than the first. You know what I mean. So, let's start this. You're going to take your pineapple. Boom! You're going to put it down. Just going to carve off the top. Now this, I've never done before but I know what's going to work. It's better than carving in there with a knife like I have been doing. So we're just gonna take this, and we're gonna put it right over the part of the core that nobody wants. And we're just gonna put a little bit of downward pressure. This is actually working even easier than I thought it would. I'm actually very impressed. I'm going to back up because I think my angle is wrong. So note to self, uh, when you're doing this, um, you're going to want to, uh, yeah, you're gonna wanna go straight down, not at an angle. As I told you, it is my first time doing this. I'm used to doing this the old fashioned way. So let's, uh, let's just take that, that's good stuff. We're gonna, gonna be enjoying that. And we're gonna pop this back in here. Yeah. Huh. There we go. Straight up and down. It's going to be the way that we do this. And we're going to self correct as we go. See? I'm a fast learner. And uh, you're going to hollow this out because you're going to be filling it with something delicious. If you went for the bottom, slowing down. I think that's about it right there. Just gonna... Oh, this could not be any more awesome. Yes. Bam. That's the stuff. Mm. 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 Delicious. But, but I digress. So. Preparing the pineapple. Uh, what I have here is some coconut flavored Malibu rum, and it is overproofed. It is the 70 proof stuff. Remember, the stronger the better. So you don't want to pour too much in there. You just pour, you know, like that. And uh, then you pour your drink. Mm -hmm. And you pour some of this. Now this is a Tropicana, this is the good stuff, this is the premium drink, love it. Very powerful fruity flavors, which masks the rum a little bit. So, now that you've poured a proper drink, shh, yeah, that, that's how you do it, that is how you do it. Top it off a little bit. Very simple recipe, but amazing. Almost done. Let's make it fancy. Take your straw. Take your little umbrella. Women love little umbrellas. You put a little umbrella in a drink, 
and uh, they feel obligated to drink the whole thing. This right there into the core. Beautiful! Look at this. Look at this. Mm. This is wonderful. <clears throat> Robin! What? Stay in your room tonight. I've got a date. Catwoman is going to love this. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a new bar type cooking with Batman. Don't forget to subscribe.